Hey Pisces, happy birthday. Happy early birthday, happy belated birthday. Happy birthday, birthday. We're gonna do a bonus for you today. We're just gonna see what comes out. So I was getting, okay, first and foremost, there's a concern about someone here. Um, they're coming off like a fire sign or someone who's real fiery, energetic, enigmatic. They're trying to get something done. It feels like with you, do something with you. Okay, like toward you, coming toward you. Some of you guys, they're like being inhibited. This fire sign or this fire energy is being inhibited. So someone cannot act. So they're, they're like isolated or trapped type of energy here. This person, either this person is causing you stress or this situation is causing you stress here. Okay, yeah, I feel like you're trying to get rid of this. Okay, I just saw the sacrifice card. Let's see. So knowledge, you got knowledge coming out and ancient, which we saw too. This popped up a second ago. What's this? So there's something about your roots that you are learning this week, Pisces, over the next few days. It looks like you're studying. You could be checking your DNA or your ancestral line. Okay, some of you guys are learning about ancestors. Or maybe you're thanking your ancestors or you're praising your ancestors here. Like giving offerings. Okay, so we have knowledge, study, learning, and education. So there's something about your roots or where you've come from and being appreciative of your past and your lineage. Ancient ancestry, Egypt, and magical inheritance. I feel like this is you getting back in touch with yourself because it feels like you're being thrown off or you were thrown off before. And now that it's a new year for you or you're having your birthday, especially Pisces Suns, obviously, your birthday is here. So you can start doing something new. You can start manifesting something new. It's almost like a new year for you. Even though we just had one, this is your new year. You're starting new. But this is about you reconnecting with your true self. Okay. I feel like I need to say, take it and run with it, Pisces. There's something here that's really good for you. Anything else for Pisces? Some of you guys may be finding out that your family line or your lineage here, that people were actually very magical or they were manifestors. So let's see what's coming out. Unicorn? I don't think I've ever seen that come out. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Well, I feel like that's really good news, always. You have unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes as well as successfully overcoming a problem with bridge. So I feel like you're making the impossible possible this week, especially as it relates to your finances. There's a shift coming in. A really good one. You need to, obviously it says use your intuition, so you need to tap in here. I feel like you know exactly what you need to be doing, so do it and don't question it. Because you're just about to overcome some kind of bind that you felt yourself in. Some of you guys, this is about you owed someone some amount of money or you were paying off a loan or a debt here. You have a solution coming in. This feels like it's impossible or it's like an impossible situation that solves itself. I'm getting really manifestation energy in your reading, guys. Okay. Let's pull some cards. <clears throat> And the magician's on the bottom of the deck. For Pisces, please. What's coming in for Pisces? I'm hearing check your rising. All right. Pisces. Temperance. The world card. The fool. Wow, so there's a certain relationship here <clears throat> that you are completely 
done with. You've made up your mind and you're basically saying, I'm not gonna wait around for this anymore. I'm not gonna wait for this person anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm just gonna move off into a different direction now. I have new opportunities open to me. This is a new year. Yeah, there's a new year here. It's new me, basically. Okay, it's like you're being reborn, Pisces. You're turning your back on a relationship, on a person. It could be someone with a Sagittarius placement. It doesn't have to be. This feels like it was someone that you were very close with. You built some sort of uh, strong bond with, something that went deeper than typical relationships. So this is someone that at one time you felt like you guys were on the same wavelength and now you feel completely different. This person feels like they could be the person I was talking about that was stressful. Okay, yeah, moon card. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, you're, you're completely ghosting someone here. Maybe it's a Virgo. You're, you're ghosting someone and you don't want to talk to them anymore. I feel like this person gives you bad vibes or like they make you feel all types of ways that just doesn't, it's not conducive to your path here. And I feel like you're seeing things in a different way. It's like, it's almost like you felt like you were in the dark with this person a lot of times and that gave you the clarity. Like you found clarity in the dark here with this person, the way they were behaving, acting, the things that they would say. I feel like this person would like leave you in a questioning state of mind here. Okay, and I feel like you're tired of it. You're fed up, you're done. So you're, you're, you're moving in a brand new energy here. Wow, Queen of Wands. <clears throat> okay, Page of Pentacles. The five of, oh, I was gonna say five of swords. This is a five of cups. So now this person, especially if it's a fire sign, they're really regretful and they're remorseful here. They feel bad now that you've turned your back on them. They thought you wouldn't. Yeah, look, the 10 of swords. So this person is, is trying to tell you something. It feels like they're trying to communicate with you, but you're nowhere to be found. It's like you're in your own world here, Pisces. This person wants to tell you that they're really sorry that they messed up, that they, they ruined something here. They're, it's almost like they're feeling like they need to take accountability. Because this is someone who has guilt and remorse over the ending of the situation, but it feels like there's something about them that they were hiding. So they regret not being transparent here. What's behind this? Lovers. Uh-huh. Look at all that. Pisces, I feel like you have two people that are interested in you right now. Either you know about it or you're about to find out very soon. There's two people who are admiring you. I feel like whoever this is that you're leaving behind or you're leaving alone, this person was full of like, I, I'm hearing mistakes. Okay, so, so you're telling me this person made mistake after mistake here? Pisces, you gave this person multiple chances. And they took advantage of that. Okay, well... Okay, that's an interesting week. Let's get you, I'm gonna get you an oracle here. Okay, yeah, if this person is stressing you out, it's almost like they keep making the same mistakes or similar mistakes that keep blowing it with you. Well, then how come they didn't learn the first time? Okay, because they already knew that they had messed up, but now they feel like, okay, I messed up and this is the last time I mess up. It's like, what is wrong? I feel like you're dealing with someone who is very spontaneous or they're always on the move. They're always on the go. And this is troublesome for your situation with them because that made them inconsistent, unstable. Your situation became unstable and inconsistent. This could be a perspective Okay, so I feel like you're looking at this whole situation with new eyes. It's like you finally made up your mind. I feel like before this, you were more like a six of swords, like you were slowly distancing yourself, but now that's that's just the last straw. There's a straw. Okay. 
So you're moving into actually abundance and prosperity. And that could be your new aim or your new focus here. For this year, especially this is a new year, I'm going to focus on my finances and my prosperity here. Some of you guys, your intuition is drawing you down a certain path. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom. Kali, yeah, there's an ending. You're just done. Okay, you're done. You're realizing your worth and it's not this. I, I'm just hearing it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. This isn't for me kind of energy. So this says, the mother of the universe. This is death card energy. Beautiful goddess energy. Okay, Kali. It says, I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. Yeah. There's something about you realizing that you're better than a certain situation or like you deserve to be treated better. You deserve to be treated kindly with respect. Okay. And I feel like this is why you're ending a situation because someone took you for granted or took, took the situation for granted and you're just completely done right now. Like you're just so tapped out. Like you don't even care. That's the last thing on your mind right now. The only thing you're thinking about is just getting away or starting brand new and focusing on yourself, okay? Or you should be. And your finances. Okay, so here's the presence of the divine feminine Pisces. I feel like this is you. It says, at the center of everything, there is light. And I am that light. That's the thing. It's like you're finding yourself again. Remember I said that? in the beginning with the oracles, I feel like you're learning about yourself. You're learning about your roots and you're kind of like, I've, my family's gone through too much for me to be involved in something like this. Like you're finding strength in your roots, in your heritage, in your ancestral line. Okay. Where you came from, even if it's your past, you're like, no, this isn't it. So this is you tapping into yourself and being a light, being a beacon of light. Okay. For yourself. All right. It's actually very beautiful, Pisces. I love you so very much. Happiest of birthdays. Feel free to check the playlist here for your other placements. Okay, I did say rising sign, didn't I? Maybe your rising sign will have information for you for this time period. Also, check your friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom, peep and Tom, and down the street, check their placements too, so we know what they're up to. Kisses. I love you so much. Bye.